Hey everybody, it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my January favorites. So a lot of these products I discovered in the middle, no, in the middle or like toward the end of last year and that's why I, Oh, hold on, my fan is on. I initially wanted to film a video for my 2017 favorites and then I realized that most of the products that I discovered, like most of the products in my favorites video are the products that I discovered toward the end of the year. So I thought that it was appropriate to just film a January favorites video instead of a 2017 favorites video. Anyway, I'll be sure to put the product links down in the description bar and if I can't find it, if it, some of this are like limited edition or something like that, um, I'll try to look for something similar to it. So without further ado, let's get on to the favorite! First off is an eyeshadow palette. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Eyeshadow is where I struggle the most and that's why I want my eyeshadows to be as pigmented as they can be because I want it na one swipe it's already on my eyelid. Something that doesn't have that much fallout because I hate cleaning up. But yeah, that's why I always put on my eyeshadow first before I put on my foundation. With that, I super love the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So it was only $39, I believe, plus tax, of course. And then it comes with 35 colors. So the, all the shades are at the back. And the only thing I don't like about it is the packaging because it's ng space here. And it just says... Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if you can see that. It just says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers. XO Jaclyn. I've been watching Jaclyn Hill lang since last year lang then. I never watched her before that. I was never that interested in makeup. Wow, ako talaga nagsabi. I was never that interested in makeup. So it comes with both warm and cool tone shades, and that's what's great about the palette. I can use it for all the seasons throughout the whole year, and it comes with so shimmer shades and matte shades as well. Both formulas are just to die for, as in they're so pigmented and they're so easy to use. Let me swatch some of my favorite colors. One of my favorite colors is this shade right yes, here. I love it for my outer corners. See that? It's so pigmented, so creamy and buttery, and there's no fallout at all. This one is my favorite shimmer shade for my eyelid. This is the shade Beam. It's so easy to apply even with the use of a brush. Hindi siya katulad ng ibang eyeshadows. I have this Too Faced Candy Eyeshadow Palette. And the shimmer shades on that one, I have to use my finger pa. And I hate using my fingers. So that's why I like this. Even with the use of my brushes, it's... It doesn't crumble at all. It's really good quality for the price. I even convinced you makeup artist to get this palette. As in, I brought it out and I was like, Sige, go swatch it. Because it's really nice. And if you really do makeup of other people, pa ganyan, or if you do your own makeup, this is the only palette that you'll need. Talaga. As in, you can use it on its own and you can create so much looks. This is the only palette that I brought to my trip to London. I was there for 10 days. And I created so much different looks, and I survived with only with just one palette. And it's easy for travel as well because nga yung packaging niya. The only reason naman that I didn't like the packaging is because wala siyang mirror, and I think it's an essential when you're doing your eyeshadow. But yeah, it's super easy to travel with. It's super thin. It's not heavy because nga yung material ng packaging niya is just cardboard, and it's easy to clean up. As in, you can just wipe it out even if it's white. It's super easy to clean. So yeah, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette for the month of January. Next up, sobrang I love palettes. <laughs> I love palettes because traveling with them, it's so much easier because everything is there. Na eh. Anyway, my other favorite palette is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So this is my favorite, current favorite contour and bronzer palette. So I usually use the shade to contour and then this, I mix this and this together for my bronzer. Naman. It's what I'm using to contour my face almost all every day. These shades though, yung mga pang highlight. I don't usually use them because I don't like Usually when I set yung under eyes ko is whatever powder I'm using na. So these three shades, super love. Because this one is a little cooler tone. So that's why I use this to contour my nose. And then I mix this two to contour and bronze my, um, what do you call this? My cheekbones. Is that cheekbones? Yung three dito sa face. And it works so perfectly. As in, on thing swipe lang ng brush and then put it on my face. It transfers so easily and it doesn't look fake at all. It looks natural. If I finish this, I'm surely gonna buy another one. 
So this palette is actually limited edition. This is a Sonia Cash Pretty Chicky palette and this is the first full price drugstore product na above $10 na binili ko. So this one was $20 and I must say I don't regret it. Every time I travel na um, 4 or 5 days lang, this is what I bring kasi talaga. So it already has a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. Let me swatch the shades for you guys. All of them are neutral enough to go with any look and that's why I like it. So there's the blush, the bronzer, and the highlighter. Even the highlighter. I said, before I got this palette, I really didn't like mga drugstore palettes. Ganyan. But this one is so high quality. As in, for the price, I just found myself like always throwing this in my makeup bag no matter where I go. It's the easiest palette to bring wherever. Kasi ito na yung buong face mo talaga. Highlighter, bronzer, and blush. And it also comes with a mirror that's good enough to use pag ginagawa mo yung makeup mo. As in, perfect na siya. And it's really light as lightweight as well, and you wouldn't worry about it breaking in your makeup bag. So I'm not sure if this is still available though, but I'll try to look for it online and I'll put the link in the description box if I can find it. If not, I'll try to look for something similar to the shades in this palette. For powder naman, oh my gosh, I just found my holy grail loose setting powder. I've tried the Laura Mercier, the Laura Mercier translucent powder and it, everybody swears by that. Even I love it because it gives me full coverage but it's so lightweight to face and also my Cover FX perfect setting powder. I also like that one. It's just that those two are too light for my skin tone and I hate that fact because I know Cover FX it comes with two shades so it, the light one and the medio darker shade. But then if I go for the darker shade, oh my gosh, pang contour na siya ng face ko talaga. So wala siyang in between. That's perfect for my skin tone. Because I do have morena skin tone. Cause whenever I use my Laura Mercier or my Cover FX, I always tend to use a darker liquid foundation. Because nga, sobrang pinapaputi niya yung skin ko. As in, mukha akong kabuki. Kabuki! Mukha akong... I don't know, espasol? No, hindi naman. Sobra naman yan. But yeah, if I do, if I use yung normal shade of my found, liquid foundation, magmumukha siyang masyado maputi sa akin and I'm trying hard to look white, which I'm not. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, but I really like na tama yung skin color nung powder na ginagamit ko. Kasi, mas maganda lang yung makeup. Mas mukha siyang natural. And with that, <laughs> ang dami ko sinabi, but long story short, I found my Holy Grail finishing powder. It works wonders on the face. It doesn't cake up. Okay, number one, it doesn't cake up. There's so many shades. And ang ganda ng coverage niya. And it's so lightweight. You have to try it to believe it. As in, I convinced my sister to try it. And she loved it. Sinoli niya yung cover effects niya. And she kept this one. Everybody knows that I love my brows. As in, I can never go out of the house without doing my kilay talaga. As in, yun talaga yung girl. Kahit mawala na lahat, wag lang yung kilay ko. Hindi naman mawala yung kilay ko. Kilay ko. Kasi usually, my kilay is really full naman talaga. I just have to groom it. I just have to groom it talaga and then fill it in para maganda yung shape niya. And all, uh, all my life, all my life, all my kilay life, I've always just used either my e.l.f. eyebrow kit or K palette na what do you call that felt tip pang kilay thing, or like eyebrow pencils. And I swore by my Anastasia brow whiz, sobrang favorite ko yon. And I never believed in the mga pomade, mga ganyan gel, kasi feeling ko ang kapal na ng kilay ko, magmumuha kung bakay kang talaga. My sister convinced me to get the, to get the benefit ka brow. I've been using it for every day. We actually traded it. She's been using this for a year now, I think. Almost a year. And ang dami pa rin niya. It's still more than half. Parang three-fourths three fourths pa yung natitira and one year niya nang ginagamit. Guys, sobrang sulit nito. You don't even have to use a brow gel after and that's what makes it sulit. And it also comes with a brush. And to be fair, yung brush niya sobrang quality naman. Na hindi, hindi siya yung brush na, oh my gosh, may kasama lang siyang brush. Uh, lang brush. Oh my gosh, may kasama lang brush, brush tas hindi mo na siya gagamitin. No, you really have to use the brush that comes with it kasi sobrang perfect niya. As in, you just dip it a little and then you swipe it here and then you brush it up na pa ganon, and then you use your spoolie to make it kalat. To make it kalat. And then you use your spoolie to brush it out a bit para mukha siyang natural. And then, girl, you're good to go. Waterproof. I used it for swimming because weird, no? I want to swimming. No, because we went to the beach and then, of course, you take 
photos and ay, gusto ko maganda pa rin yung kilay ko. Maarte ako eh. Ganun talaga. Anyway, I used it, I used it when I was swimming and girl, may kilay pa rin ako. 5pm na. So, yeah. Kilay all day. Benefit ka brow talaga. Okay, the next two items are for from the same brand. This is, I believe, a Japanese brand. And during my layover going to the Philippines, I was at the Tokyo airport and I found out about this. My, sisters has, my sister has been telling me to try this out as well. Pero, alam niya naman ako sa mascara, matipid ako sobra. So, if I haven't finished it, if hindi pa tapos yung three months expiration date thing ng mascara, I wouldn't buy a new one. But, nagka-clump up na sobra yung L'Oreal Lash Paradise ko. So, I had to get this. This is the Heroin Make Mascara. So, long and... Long and Curl Mascara. Oh my gosh. Sobrang legit nito, guys. As in, ang ganda ng wand niya. And it doesn't clump at all. Oh my gosh. The mascara is so much better than the Lash Paradise. This one solved my problem talaga. And all my life, I've loved my Scylla Stay All Day Eyeliner. But, but sometimes, masyado lang siyang makapal for me when I'm doing my eyeliner. Kasi hindi pa ako sobrang galing when it comes to here. Kasi yung sa talukap ko, it has to be manipis. So, this one is super perfect. As in, ang nipis niya lang. Oh. Diba? Sobrang nipis. And, it's smudge proof. As in, kakagamit ko, kakalagay ko lang yan na. Oh. Hindi siya nagsasmudge at all. Also from Heroin Make. Super love this now. It's the Heroin, Heroin Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. Waterproof. Go get this. I alam, alam ko this one is a lot cheaper. So, I'll put the product link in the description more. And guys, yun yung problem ko lagi sa eyeliner. Kasi min minsan nangangate yung eyes ko. Tapos parang, oh, tapos mamaya nag-smudge na siya. Ito talaga, oh. Wale. Galing, diba? Anyway, last but not the least is my favorite lipstick. I've been loving the Wet n Wild Mega Last Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. It's a shade I'm wearing on my lips right now. And if you guys want a swatch, here it is. Super love the formula. So here is what it looks like. This is only $5. And this one is my favorite winter shade because it's a little dark. But it's not too dark that I can, wear, I can get away with wearing it during the day. So yeah, that's why I love this one and it it's comfort map. As in, my lips are always so dry and look, it's not dry at all. Sobrang love this one. If you're someone like me, as in lipsticks, I don't mind buying drugstore ones, foundations. Yung eyeshadow palette lang talaga ako na high end. But yeah, anyway, girls, ang dami ko na naman sinasabi. But yeah, this is actually comparable to the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in Amulet. Yun din yung isa ko pang favorite eh. But for every day, this one will do. $5 lang. And that's it for my January favorite. So if you like this video and if you found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!